here in California, the clock is ticking for one of the most popular guns. On January 1st, the AR-15 will no longer be a semi-automatic weapon, and some people say they will then challenge this in court. Until then, the AR-15 will be changing dramatically, and people in California are buying them as fast as they can. KUSI's Dan Plant had a chance to shoot one of these, and he has this story. So this is the gun that everybody has been talking about, the AR-15, which on January 1st will officially be illegal in the state of California. In fact, today was the last day to buy it because of the 10-day waiting period. Well, we decided to come up to Kearney Mesa to the Glock store, and they were kind enough to let us actually shoot one of these. So let's see how it goes. Put the magazine in, load the chamber, take the safety off, and go. If you've ever shot an AR-15, then you know the adrenaline rush. It's one of the most popular rifles in America, and until now, legal in California. The AR-15 as we know now has changed dramatically uh, because of the new laws that are in the state of California. Despite the efforts of the gun lobby, the AR-15 is changing in a big way. Here in California, the semi-automatic feature will be removed along with other changes to the entire rifle. Trust me, there's guys with uh, single action handguns that can shoot just as fast as anybody with a, with a uh, semi-automatic handgun. Here at the Glock store in Kearney Mesa, the AR-15 has always been a top seller for good reasons reason and it's not hunting. Let's be realistic, you know, I'm not a big hunter and you know, I have no desire to kill animals, but I do want to protect myself and my family from uh, bad guys. And so the AR-15 is a perfect weapon for self-defense. So the deadline has arrived and the gun stores are abiding, but the battle is not over yet. There will be lawsuits filed. Um, we're definitely going to hold people who voted for this accountable and make sure that that uh, uh, people that run for office respect our Second Amendment rights. And there's another regulation that gun owners are not too thrilled about. In 2018, the bullets will also be hard to get. So you're basically going to have to go through the same steps to buy ammunition as you already did to buy your firearm. While owning a gun is a constitutional right of every American, even the most passionate gun owners are getting ready to follow the letter of the law. Really, it's just a matter of you know following the laws. We follow the laws. You know, no matter what, at the end of the day, uh, the laws are the law, and we have to abide by it. For those who are keeping track, you have until midnight tonight to get under that new law. Dan Plant, KUSI News.